If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. So what we're going to talk about in this video is our IoT Insights platform and connecting ZigBee-based devices to that platform. So what I have here is our IoT Insights platform. I've just gone through and reinitialized the system. I've previously onboarded some ZigBee-based devices onto my IoT controller. So I'm going to show you how to get those devices onboarded into the IoT Insights platform. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the database button and I'm going to add a new location. Now this is how you do that. So I'm going to name my room Lab, give it a site, country, and it's on the first floor. So I'm going to add that. Okay, so now I have a location. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the database button again. And this time I'm going to bring in my Zigbee-based devices from my IoT controller. So the first one I'm going to bring in is my door sensor. The manufacturer is Samsung. It's going to be in my lab. This is the video preview. Give that about five seconds. It's a door window contact sensor. So I'm going to add that. Next one I'm going to bring in is a flood sensor. Manufacturer is also Samsung. It's in the lab. And it's a water flood sensor to add that. Next one I'm going to bring in is my motion sensor or PIR. Uh, this one's manufactured by Samotech. It's in the lab. It's a motion sensor. So I'm going to add that. Now this next one is a little, little bit different. It's uh, actually a thermostat. Yeah, it's a Zigbee-based thermostat manufactured by Telconet. So we'll be able to bring in some environmental data into IoT Insights. Telconet, lab, thermostat. Now this one you have to be careful. Actually there's two thermostats that we're supporting right now from, from Telconet. One is the EcoTouch and the other one is the EcoInsight. For this purpose I'm going to be bringing in the EcoInsight. So I'm going to enter that device model and I'm going to click temperature and humidity and, and finish. I've got a couple of devices that have already triggered actually. Let's see here. Let me bring in the door. Let me show you how to trigger the door sensor. So I just opened that up and you can see over here the door sensor, the icon changed to red. Everything is logged into our database. So the last event here was the, the door sensor as I mentioned. It's over here into our alarm display. It's currently the status is open. And what I can do is I can just highlight that event, and which is what I'm doing right now. And in the event summary, it gives me details uh, about that particular event. So the location is the lab, it's a contact sensor, that's the device name, and that's the timestamp. So I'm going to close that now. Next thing I'm going to do is trigger the flood sensor. Okay, and you can see that is triggered. It turned red. It's in the database again in here. And I could look at that and get the details about the flood sensor. The next one is a PIR or motion sensor. I'm going to trigger that. Same thing. The icon's turned red. It's in here now and it's in our database. And those are the details about that Zigbee uh, sensor. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for some environmental data here. So I click the search button and search for environmental data based on a location. So the lab is my location. Look at that for an hour. And you can see what has happened now is the display has come up showing the, the thermostat. And I don't have much data collected right now because it's just been onboarded. 
But if you leave this, you'll see that the temperature and humidity, you'll get graphs of that. I'm starting to get some data now. I can do some other things with this, with this thermostat as well. I can hit the fan button and you can see the fan speed has changed. I can alternate between cooling and heating. Right now I'm cooling. So if I hit the heat button, right there you can see the uh, heat button has turned red. So I'm going to put it back on cool. And you can see it's went back to cooling. So this is environmental data that you could use a Zigbee-based thermostat to, to collect that type of data. The other thing that we have on the dashboard is we have possible alarms from the Zigbee-based sensors, and those are displayed here. Things like battery alarms, tamper alarms, loss of signal, those types of things. There's actually a button here that you can click for some reports. Loss of signal, don't have any of that. But that's how you could look at various types of alarm reports. RSSI, LQI, tamper alarms, battery level alarms, those types of things. So that's just an example of bringing in general Zigbee-based devices into our IoT Insights platform, including environmental data using a thermostat.